Hello everyone, welcome back to the fourth video of Firebase with Flutter. So in the previous videos, we just try how we can create the data in the cloud Firestore database and also we have seen how we can read that data and also how we can update that data. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can delete that data from the cloud Firestore database. If you remember the case of when we were updating the document in the cloud Firestore database, there was the need of the unique ID to update a specific document in the cloud Firestore database. So the same will be in the case of deleting a document from the cloud Firestore database. I'll be so excited if you try it out by yourself and also tell me in the comment section how was your experience of that you are trying out yourself. If you stuck and didn't find any solution that how we can delete the data from the cloud Firestore database so let's do it with me. As I show you three ways of updating the data in the cloud Firestore database there is also so three ways to delete that data from the cloud firestore database the first one is manual and you know it better than me and, and that's it and the second way is let me show you also the second way let me uncomment this previous update method and rename it to delete and we are accessing to the user collection and let's delete this try block from here and directly on that ID we will simply call that delete. So that's it for this delete method. Press Ctrl S to hot reload and let's go to the home page and simply as we did for the update of the second method let's wrap this container with the inkwell which gives us the on tap property and inside this on tap property let's call firestore helper dot delete as simple as that. Now go to the cloud first store and on that id we have called the delete method so let's move it here and press this and the data is deleted from the cloud first store database and now let's also try out on the third way again move to the cloud first store helper and let's not comment this out now there will be the need of user model user and id we will pass that id from the user dot id and that's it for our delete method let's go to the home page and simply remove this inkwell from here and there is the property in the list style which is on long press like when we press on our single user like this this will show a dialog box and from here we will delete that data so let's try it out to create a dialog box there is a method show dialog it takes a context and there is a builder so that builder will be also the context just like this and open body this will return alert dialog and there are some properties so in the title we will put simple text widget and there will be delete and in the content we will ask are you sure you want to delete just like this there are action property which is the list of widgets and there we will simply create an elevated button which give us the on press and the child first let's keep into this on press and in the child there will be text which will be delete just like this press ctrl s to check this out open this emulator and press this long and we got a dialog with the title delete and the content are you sure you want to delete and an elevated button which is delete so now we will call that delete method on that delete button and that will delete the specific document from our cloud firestore database so let's do it also here on the in the on press we will do firestore helper dot delete and this tags the user model so that will be our single user single user is a user model you can see it here and as this delete method is a future method so we will simply do dot then when the process completes or the document is deleted from the cloud firestore database so we will simply do navigator dot pop just to close that alert dialog box so now let's try it out press ctrl s and open our emulator and let's try to delete this div from here i will press it a bit longer and press this delete 
and Steve is not deleting. Just because, let me tell you, go to the cloud firestore database and check the Steve. There is no ID in here. In the second video, we tried to create some data and at that time there were no ID in our documents. So this document is unable to delete just because there is no ID. So let me try it out for the Smith Professional because there is an ID delete and the field is deleted and the dialog box is gone because we call this navigator pop context here. And that was it for the delete method. There were three ways, the first one is manual and the second one was just to hard code an ID from the cloud firestore database in the string and simply call the delete method on that particular ID. And this third method is a bit cleaner, we can delete a specific user from here by clicking a bit longer on a single user and simply when press this delete button just like this. And these two users are unable to delete just because they didn't contain an ID to delete that document. So I hope if you like the video, if so, show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you. And also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and videos like this. For now, goodbye and I will see you in the next video.